Hi everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to find the volume of a circular metallic piece of metal or really anything that's the shape. So this would technically be a cylinder because it's two bases. One, two are the same size and it does have thickness. But I want to know the volume and I can't just stick this into a beaker. I don't have a beaker that large. My beakers aren't that fine of a measurement. Well, I do have a caliper. So I took some measurements. And the average diameter is 8.7 centimeters. And the average height is 1.03 centimeters. And the formula for volume of a cylinder, which this is, is volume is equal to r squared, so that would be your radius squared, times pi, times your height. The height. The height would be the difference of the two bases, the distance between. So we just plug in everything from the formula. So you do v and pi, and so, di so your radius is half of your diameter. So just take 8.7 divided by 2 and you get 4.35 squared times h and h is 1.03 okay so you have everything in now you have to start to solve so you want to do 4.35, you want to square it, boom, you get 18.9225, you're going to multiply, I mean, uh, multiply that by pi, and you get, actually I wrote down pi on this one, now um, for teachers when they want to show you your work, you don't want to do two stages all in one, but I did do two stages all in one, because I can Okay, then we want to multiply that by 1.03, and that will be our volume cubed. So we're going to, since we still have it in our calculator. Okay, so our volume is 61.2301906 centimeters cubed. Okay, so we have our volume of the sky. That's good. So we have the total volume of this. But what if we want to find the density? To find the density of this guy, we'll have to use a scale now. This is my best scale. Not very good, not very accurate, but it's better than nothing. So we're going to use this guy. I'm going to try and move the camera as little as possible and each one of these lines on the gram is 10 grams so about exactly 160 grams so mass equal to mass of our object, not just normal mass, is 160 grams, okay? And the formula for density is P equals M divided by V. Um, P is density, M is mass, and V is full volume. So to put in this formula, you want to do P equals 160 divided by our very long volume number. Okay, let's put that in the calculator. Sixty divided by sixty one point two three zero one nine zero six. And that is our answer. 
density of this object is equal to 2.61309002. Okay, now I think, well I'm pretty sure, it's mostly 10. Well, what's 10's density? So I've decided to add the units, and since we're using grams and we're using centimeters, it's grams slash, and then in parentheses, centimeters, and then you have a cubed symbol. Okay, so this is our final density of this guy. Now that would be the average density. So not everything, but you know, if you like cut out a little bit of it, it might have a different density, but it's still close enough because it's an average. So to review, the volume of a cylinder is V equal to pi times R squared times H. And density is P equals M divided by V. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice day.